you know, William Randolph Hearst has uh, had, when he was living, it's, it's still there, I assume, but a beautiful, beautiful mansion that is between Los Angeles and San Francisco. But I was in seminary. I was part of a singing group that we from Golden Gate Seminary that we went up and down the coast of California at one point. I did sing it. I wasn't very good, but I had enough people around me to drown me out that I was okay. But we uh, went up and down. One of the things we did, we stopped at William Randolph Hearst's castle. And a lot of people wanted to go see it. But it's 20 bucks to go see somebody's house. I thought, I'm not going to pay 20 bucks to go look at somebody's house. I'm going to sit out here on the bus. And about a handful of us did that while the rest of them went out there and, and looked at it. Well, you know, they, they stayed about an hour, hour and a half, and then they came back. They began to talk about all these elaborate things that they saw. Talked about all these big game animals on the walls. Talked about a pool that's bottomless that you can't see the bottom of because it's so deep. I got to thinking, I missed all that for 20 bucks. Now, why did I miss that? And I hope that's not like your Christian life. You know, William Randolph Hearst, at one point in time, he was reading about some expensive paintings, and he told whoever his right-hand guy, whoever was in charge of something like that, he says, I want these paintings. I want you to find out where they are and go and buy them for them. So the guy went out looking for these paintings, came back to William Randolph Hearst and said, uh, well, Mr. Hearst, um, I got good news, I guess. You already own them. They're in your warehouse. You know, there's so much that's already ours in Christ. We don't know. We don't understand what it means to live out, to enjoy the benefits of this wonderful wealth. And we're walking around like paupers. And God is saying, I have given, I've invested in you because of what Christ did. This wonderful strength that's yours. This love that the world can't even begin to know, that you can't know, you can just experience. And there's a fullness it's meant to satisfy, to fill up your life. The world's never going to satisfy you as much as you try to pursue the things it offers. But God can, in a moment in time, he can satisfy what's deepest within you. 